All right, thank you for clicking on this video. And today, what I'm going to share with you is something interesting in Flutter web development. So, it's maybe some of you guys have been waiting for, which is to add mouse cursor API to widgets. So what this means is that you don't have to create a workaround in order for you to have a pointer cursor. So I have with me here a Flutter web portfolio that I'm currently creating. Just a little sneak peek. And you could see over here I have a normal mouse and I zoom in. And you can see this is a normal button and then if I hover it, oh my god, it is animating. But the most important part is that it is actually turning into a pointer cursor over here. So if I really zoomed in all the way, yes, the pointer cursor is alive. And the thing is, I didn't have to do any workaround in order for me to get this pointer cursor. So this merged PR or pull request says that in this list of widgets, it already has added the mouse cursor API. So inkwell, buttons, switches, radio and whatnot and bottom navigation bar. So this is pretty, pretty cool. You don't have to make a workaround. For example, inside your Flutter web project, you probably have to import a .html, which is not exactly what Flutter really wants. And then you probably have to do like a hover extension or an extension method and you have to do this kind of overlap where you have to get the element ID of app container. And then in your index HTML, you probably need to override your body with a specific ID app container. But now there is no need of that. So with that flat button, you could see over here, there is this thing called mouse cursor. This mouse cursor basically points to the material state mouse cursor and then it only has this clickable. So I guess in the future, you might have more than clickable. Maybe there is waiting or there is zoom in or whatnot, right? So this is pretty interesting. Flat buttons already has the mouse cursor settings by default. That's why when I hover over it and let's zoom it in, you could see that the click cursor or the pointer over here, it's automatically implemented. So there are other things like, for example, over here, like my different text over here. I'm using a particular widget that's called Inkwell. So Inkwell supports this mouse cursor clickable over here. So currently, so Inkwell is a good widget that allows you to do this clickable kind of CSS in your Flutter web project. So the only thing that you want to probably have to override is the colors because if you have the colors, let me just comment this out and save this. And then if I were to, let me zoom it in. You could see if I hover over it, there is this grayish background, which is pretty ugly. And then if I will hold it, it looks like a button. So I don't really need this kind of interaction. So the only way to do this is you probably have to make all of these colors have a color or background color to become invincible. So that's why I override the highlight color hover color and a splash color with colors dot transparent. So if you think that's it, nope, they are going to add more mouse cursor support to the remaining widgets, which are tooltip, navigation rail, stepper, time picker, and whatsoever. So the thing is, you can probably comment if we just not mentioned here to support mouse cursor. So I myself have already added how about material card widget. You guys can participate whether gesture detector should be something clickable. And also another thing is that there is this hyperlink widget, which I ask. This is another thing that you guys might be interested. So hyperlinks are pretty useful or have been used a lot inside a web page. So basically what he says that is rich text with an inline span that has recognizers. So that's pretty cool. And I think that's about it. So the thing is, if you want to use these widgets with the supported mouse cursor API, you have to go to the Flutter master branch because most of the updates now are being pushed towards the Flutter master branch. So currently I'm at Flutter 1.19 2.0 pre 214. So I think if you were to go to this 
latest version of Flutter and then you probably are able to get the mouse cursor on your Flutter web project. So that's about it. I hope you guys are excited to use and look forward towards Flutter web because I am. And the thing is, do support and put in your issues and pull requests and contribute to the Flutter GitHub page. So that's about me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more of this video, subscribe and comment down below on what other widgets you want it to be clickable. So that's about it. I know I haven't posted for quite some time because I've been focusing on this uh, Flutter web portfolio Udemy course that I'm been creating. So if you're interested, you can sign up in the link down below. That's about it. Hope you guys have a nice day and stay safe. Bye-bye.